Hi boys and girls, second video for the day. I have something else on my mind. Okay, so let's get it off. Let's do it. Let's do it. Churches. Okay, I am a I, I like to attack the evil churches. Okay, I have sometimes, but let me let me tell you something I've learned. Even out of the Catholic Church, as an example, or Joe Olstein's church, okay, there's always a couple good sheep in there that really have a heart for God. Okay, they're doing the correct thing you know they come home they're really they're they're god-minded man they go help the homeless they do this they do that so i mean but you know but the problem is guys they're blind to the fact they're being led by a wicked wolf or a wicked system so it is our job to ring the alarm and hopefully they wake up okay but i want to show you just, again you know we can't sit there and beat on all of them you're a catholic you know uh, you're going to hell you know don't judge anyway uh, I myself went to a couple churches in my life <clears throat> for years and then come to find out later man they were wicked you know if certain things sprung up and I finally woke up and I'm like dude these guys are after the money you know how did I not see that after all these years you know because I was blind you know I was a newbie I just started going to church and I got sucked into their system so if it happened to me, it's going to happen to a lot of people. Okay, another church I went to, one day they're up there preaching about the Pope and how good of a guy he is, and he's a good example. So I jumped up out of my, out of my seat and I went, went on out of there. I have not been back to church since. Okay, I do it all on my own now. Okay, I just, I can't take that. You know, this, I, know I know they're trying to get people to follow the Pope, but at the same time within that church, there's actually good people, godly people, you know, but they have to come to their point where they wake up. Hopefully they do. Man, it's up to us to sort of ring the alarm. You know, you want to shoot that laser in at the cancer and get rid of the bad stuff if you can, pinpoint it, and then try not to hit the healthy tissue around, you know, so you can just burn it out of there. But anyway, man, that's, that's what I want to touch on. You know, how tricky these churches are, how deceiving they are. Most churches today are watered down, false doctrine, false this, false this. Uh, a lot of them are preaching it all. 99% of them are preaching that Jesus is God, which I don't agree with. You know, he's the son of God. Uh, so you really got to be careful. But anyway, guys, uh, that is the message, okay, that even within these wicked churches are some sleepers who are really good people, but they're not, they're not awake yet. They haven't, you know, they were raised up as a kid going into the catholic churches raised up going into joel Osteen's church they don't know any better okay they're good people they believe in god but they're not awake to the fact of who they're following and that could be bad you know like i say if the government's working with the churches take this chip it's a good thing then joel Osteen tells everybody take the chip you know or whatever it may be uh could end up in a bad way so, and again, you know, ring the alarm, but at the same time, remember, you know, don't bash everybody because there are some good people in there. They just need to be woken up, you know, they're still sleeping. Once upon a time, I was asleep, you know, and I'm probably still asleep as to a few things, who knows, uh, but when I see it and I'm going to wake up and we go from there. All right, guys, I think that's enough. Second video for the day, and I think I'm done. That's about all that's on my mind as I uh, get ready to get my day going on. All right, guys. Peace out. Take care. God bless.